What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. Y'all already know what time it is. Time to get back into the Red King, the man and the mistress with the golden apple. Yes, we're, we're still trying to figure out who this bird woman is and why she's taking golden apples. And are these golden apples giving us power? Why is our MC the only one that can see things? And what's up with his deranged father? Did his father really kill his mother? Ugh, so much stuff going on and I don't really understand none of it so far because we're only on chapter 10. But that's besides the point. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, before we get into the video, y'all already know what time it is. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, you want to take your support even further. Patreon and Otaku Game membership are now available. Go sub to the Patreon. Go join the taco game membership and yeah let's get into it man let's get into it all right you were lucky this time who is this girl and who is this figure who is everybody they believe it was some sort of business competitor who bribed their way in is this another bird person they're investigating that lucky man who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time the boy saw me we know we'll deal with him who are these people are we going to become a bird person ourselves? Okay, I'm a car. Good to see you, Ivan. I see you got your bike back. Yeah, so who is this guy? I'm sorry for what happened, Ross. Oh, that's Ross. I, I never thought that. Hey, no need to apologize. It wasn't your fault. Besides, it might just be a temporary measure. If the identity of the culprits, the staff who weren't involved, can have their jobs back, Mr. Krasny, said this himself. It's probably a matter of days until they figure this out. I don't believe it, bro. Yeah, right. I don't think it's going to be that easy, though. The culprit isn't even human. Why did I do that? She was trapped inside and I helped her out. Seriously, why? In the end, this is all my fault. Everything's going to be solved in no time. I'll find a way to fix this mess somehow. I don't know if there's anything you can do, but I appreciate your backing. To be honest, what actually worries me now is Ryan's careless actions. I always thought he was smart, but a drone business. What? Look at all these parcels, Ivan. How is he going to pay for such expensive equipment now? Whatever possess him to think that would ever be a good idea. Two months earlier. Ryan, that's a brilliant idea. You should totally go for it. This man got tattoos everywhere. Even though I like that tattoo, though, I like it. Am I kind of fire? I don't know. It's a costly startup and you're leaving next month, which means no more fat paychecks from Mr. Krasny. Well, if you need the money, I can stay another couple of months. So my father keeps paying you to, to um, whatever he thinks you're doing. You know you can't refuse that, don't you? You got to stop being a chicken and just do things. How many salaries more would you need? I don't know, maybe six or seven. Deal. So Ivan was staying for a ride so he can get money for his business. Yeah, drone business, huh? Ivan, could you help me bring those inside, please? Yeah, of course. All those damn boxes, bro. All right, job's done. I'll take the rubbish out and be on my way. Okay, bye, Ross. You got to stop making empty promises, Ivan. I heard you two talking. How the hell do you think you'll fix the situation for my dad, you're just making stuff up to make him feel better. Don't you see that's actually worse? At some point, he's no rhyme I'm serious. I'm going after the burglar. Mate, you can't go after the thief because nobody knows who's involved. I know. I was there. I saw everything. Right. <laughs> Come on. You know I wouldn't just lie about this. I couldn't stand that part anymore, so I went to the garden because I thought nobody would be there, but I was wrong. What did you see? The thief. It was a girl. Long dark hair, more or less our age, weird eyes. What do you mean by weird eyes? We're like, um, I know it'll sound like bullshit, but I'm serious. She wasn't human, right? What? Yeah, she she turned into a bird. <laughs> I already knew you were like, turned into a bird. Does the room look darker to you? No. Oh, well, I think she broke the hand. Bro, the hand. The hand. Oh, well, I think she went there to steal this. And... Bro, why? why? How you end the... I need these people to start in the chapters better. Oh, it's about to choke the shit out of them. 
no one must know about that fruit. This secret you shall keep. Lest you wish to be buried six feet deep. The dog sees it, but so no other human can see it but him. But the dog can sense something is wrong, even though the dog probably can't see it either. I should be used to this by now. You get yourself dumped up on on the eve of an important hearing. We're on my first day with Miranda, and now you show up at my door having a major hangover. I'm telling you, I'm 100% sober. What the fuck just happened? I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't blacking out like that in the normal. You know, you could have a blood clot in your head from that fight. I'm fine, chill, just tired. What happened to your lip? It wasn't this bad yesterday. His dad hit the shit out of him. I scratched it accidentally. What is it, Yaz? It's someone stalking us. All right, I think the pizza guy is here. I'll get it. Somebody is stalking you. Who the hell is this? Do you think that would be enough to keep him quiet? It should. We imprinted a warning message into his subconscious. Now, every time he thinks about that apple, a deep sense of foreboding or foreboding should prevent him from talking to other people about it. Nonetheless, we should keep a close watch on him. I could do that. No, you prove your incompetence already. Just keep the apple safe. Those two idiots will be looking for it. Hell is going on, fam. Dad's so late, we should have left already. Whatever. What are you so focused on? I'm going over the security laws again. We need to find a lead. But we're never going after Alexander now, aren't we? Well, Dad arbitrarily decided this guy's behind everything, even if it makes absolutely no sense. Now we have no option but to do as you always have an option, Nicolay. And instead of winging and whining to your sister you should have said that to my face when we discussed the subject this morning bro that is a trip fam that is that is a real trip bro shit <laughs> to be honest i'll be more pleased if you prove me wrong because if you do prove me wrong it means you found who actually stole it you still haven't understood that i want results not minions following my every instruction i'm sick of it everywhere i go i'm surrounded by robotized fools Dumb and incompetent people who Oh, dumb and incompetent people Too spineless to defend their own opinions But bro, I mean With the way you kind of are fam, It's kind of hard to speak your mind Just saying Which is not your case, Nicolay You're almost as intelligent as your mother was I'm sure you're capable of making your own decisions Instead of executing my orders So do what you will And bring that apple back before it becomes a problem if you can do this, then you can fill my boots. After all, that's what you want, isn't it? Man, this daddy, bro. The dad is... That is something else, man. He is something else. I don't, I don't know. I, oh, I'm about to say, she got tattoos too? <laughs> I'm about to say, she got two sleeves. <laughs> it's just a... Y'all know what it is. Don't mind me. Let me guess. You're mad because dad didn't... I waited two hours to talk to him and he didn't even look in my face. It's frustrating how most of the time I'm simply invisible to him. He only talks to me when it's work-related. Well, if it makes you feel better, he only talked to me to call me spineless and incompetent. Hmm. Anyway, who's the woman we're meeting now? Um, We're meeting Miss Song. You know, her husband, he's the chairman of Vitriol Chemicals. Dad said we could trust him. They're good friends of our family, and their daughter Linda is married to Alexander. Since his laws didn't contain any sort of personal conversation, I'm hoping she can help us figure out what he's been up to. We should be asking for Ishak's help, not hers. No, if we talk to Ishak, chances are he's going to tell Alexander we're investigating him. You're aware they used to be best friends, aren't you? Well, here we are. Try to smile a little bit, will you? Bro, the... So your burglar's a shapeshifter. Got it in one. All right. Okay. What did she steal or try to? Um, he can't say it anymore. Some fucked up Apple experience. That's what she stole. But why does it feel so wrong to tell her? It shouldn't be a problem, but nah, better not. 
So um, the sec the security team doesn't know if anything was actually stolen. But you know how people are. Everyone's assuming she was there to at least steal from us. And, oh, and uh, Miranda, I know you have plans for tonight, and I really don't want to disturb you. I just remember you was into this sort of magic stuff, but we can discuss it another time. No, it's okay. I'm just having some friends over for dinner. And yes, I'm super into these things. That's why I called you as soon as I got the message. I don't know much about magic creatures myself, but when I read your message, I instantly remembered this story a friend told me. She was on a trip in the desert when she saw what she described as a godlike winged creature with indigo eyes and flowing long hair. If indigo means purple, then it fits what I saw. How can I get there? Uh-oh. My fault. All right. How can I get there? In my hometown, you have these alternative tourist guys. They can take you to the middle of the desert and feed you the special cactus that makes you trip. Wait, did you say cactus? Yeah, it's a hallucinogen. This one is so strong, she spent the rest of the day watching her own body being devoured by a bear. Oh, come on, Miranda. You're talking. You're not taking this seriously. I am. That wasn't a joke. But I get it. You're not into this sort of thing. So what I actually wanted to say was, guess who's being summoned in the living room? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Miranda, what, what are you and your friends doing? Oh, damn it. Guys, um, say that. I'll just put you on hold for a second. Darling, what are you doing? You can't barge in like that. Mm. <laughs> the call's not on hold, though. Shut up. Come on, you're not supposed to be working now. This is our night. Oh, so Miranda isn't um isn't that okay? No, seriously, you can't do this. I was in a video call with two guys, and you're not even wearing your shirt. So they never seen a girl in a bra before, and I'm waiting my oh, and I'm waiting my shirt to dry. I spill wine on it. Come on, I miss you, and it won't take no for an answer, darling. No, not now. Okay, Miranda, I see you, girl. Fine, it's not like. You already dumped me last night for some rando, right? Hmm, whatever. I don't even like you that much. Whew. Um, what? I did not pause the call. Oh, crap. Okay, let me explain. This is for you, Miranda, stealing party pooper rando. Bro, she's just playing you. I'm sorry for this. I could put the call on hold, but I don't know what happened. I'm so embarrassed. I hate being caught off guard. Oh, no, please, Miranda. I'm the one who's sorry for the inconvenience I've caused. Oh, please, you didn't do anything wrong, but um, sorry. I'll say if I can find anything about your shapeshifter problem, I'll call you back. Is that okay? Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for your help. Boy, Miranda, girl. Girl, girl, girl. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> that was unexpected. By the way, are you sure Miranda is really don't? <laughs> What's up? You like, don't even ask, bro. Don't even ask. So we still have the feather. What's going to happen? I need us to get some superpowers, bro. You're a jobless, uneducated, and unskilled child living under my roof, leeching off my money. Son of a bitch. I'll find this stupid apple and shove it down your throat. Oh, his phone's vibrating. Miranda Wire, can you please forward this to Ivan? He can add me if he wants. Humanoid bird creature sighting terrifies locals. Okay, let's watch this. Hmm. I guess it's going to be easier than I thought. Wait, so we we know what a we wait, huh? 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 He ha who? He ha who? Twenty seven minutes late. That old Russian dirtbag is a real lousy job raising the three of you. We're deeply sorry, Miss Song. We didn't. You aren't sorry for anything, young man. You're just afraid I won't collaborate with you anymore because you just pleased me. He plays no game. Lucky for you, that's not how I do business. So what brings you here? Once again, I apologize if we... She's like, bro, stop apologizing. Miss Song, we know that besides having a busy schedule, you don't have the patience for small talk. So let's, let me get straight to the point. Your daughter, Linda, is married to Alexander de Graff. We have reasons to believe this man is trying to get back at our father for using confidential information that can end up ruining both our business and yours. Well, I don't blame him. Who doesn't want to punch your father in the face? I thought she liked our family. But yes, business comes first. And unfortunately, Krasny Corp is our strongest partner. So tell me, what's my son-in-law up to? Well, we're here because we need your help to figure that out. Are you asking me to spy on him? No, please. We would never ask you to do something like that. Of course not. 
we'll do it ourselves. But we need to we need the help of someone who knows him personally, who has his trust. And our father told us you're not the biggest fan of Alexander. So no living person can help you with that. Not even my daughter is close to him. Alexander is a dreadful man. I regret the day I allowed Linda to marry him instead of instead of that bootlicker my husband arranged for. I'm not sure if she fears or despises him. She refuses to talk about it. But I know something's off. She's been postponing the, the return of the last business trip for three months now. Hmm. I'm so sorry to hear that, Miss Song. Maybe we could help you help her. Do you think she has access to the personal computer or something like that? No, but she told me he's a bit of a hoarder, so instead of throwing his things away, he dumps them in a hunting lodge. Maybe you could find his old journals in there. What so he keeps journals? You should contact my daughter. She can arrange a visit to the property mentioned. We will. Thank you, Miss Song. Do you think she'll mind if we called her this late? We're not calling her. Seriously, what if she's too dense to keep her mouth shut? What if she's a terrible liar and Alexander finds out we're investigating him? Yeah, but what about the journals? If he indeed is, oh, if he was indeed investigating our company or if he knew about the tree, there's a possibility he wrote something about it, don't you think? If those journals exist, we're getting them. Yes, but wait, you're not thinking of, we have a detailed list of all his properties. We just need to check which one is close to a hunting area. Nick, you want to invade the hunting lodge of a nutter who hates our family. She got a point, fam. She got a point. I mean, yeah, that's kind of stupid, fam. That's that's kind of stupid. <laughs> it's going to be some creepy house in the middle of nowhere filled with hoarders' weird rubbish. Do you know what? <laughs> do you know what it sounds like? A bad horror film where everyone dies in the end. All right, so tell me, which one would you rather star in? A bad horror film or a riches to rags one? Neither. Can can I choose option C and choose neither? Is there an option C? Alright, so what's Ivan about to do? Um I can't believe you're seriously going after this creature you think you saw. I told you if there's anyone who could find this burglar and fix this mess, it's me. Nobody else saw what I saw, so I'll go after the thief girl myself. There's a village in Denmark where people claim to have witnessed this human sized mysterious bird eyeing up their crops. There have been strange light sightings too. Light flames that would appear out of nowhere and extinguish themselves a few seconds later. I knew it. They really take me for an idiot, don't they? Okay, just please tell me you're taking a plane. Of course not. Do you see this? It's, it's a GPS tracker. What do they think is going to happen when they find out I left for good? Do you think I can just show up at the airport? My father has contacts in the airports here, right? They'll find a reason to detain me, and then he'll drag me home like he always does. Hold on a second. Are you telling me you're going all the way to flipping Denmark on a sports bike? Not all the way to Denmark, though. Maybe to Belgium, and then I'll get a car or something. I just need to get myself and Yazi out of here. Okay, so you're going all the way to flipping Belgium on a sports bike with your dog in search of some supernatural bird lady. Um, yeah. Rye is like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. What about school? I even like, fuck school, bro. <laughs> of all the stupidest things you could ever have done, this takes the biscuit. Right. don't waste your time trying to convince me. Otherwise, I'm not changing my mind. I won't. I'm coming with you. Whoa, yo, shout, shout out to um Rye for being a homie, fam. Shout out to Rye for being a homie. He like, bro, I'm coming with you. I'm not going to leave you by yourself. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, want to take support even further. Otaku Game membership right there. Go ahead and hit that. Join that up. Also, hit up the Patreon too. And let me know what you guys think about this chapter, about these chapters in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to find this bird lady? Do you think we're going to get superpowers at some point? Because that's kind of how it seems where it's going. Maybe we're going to turn to a bird guy. That could be possible. Or... Could we just have like some kind of flame type thing? Could we summon birds? Um, is this bird lady going to be our love interest? A lot of things can take place that I don't know what's going to happen because it's so early on. And um, yeah, we're going to have to figure this out. But till next time, I'm JD. I'm out. Peace, y'all.